welcome to my first movie review for my YouTube channel. I wanted to talk about The Secret World of Arietti. I went and saw that the other day with my mother and I really enjoyed it very much and the entire audience was comprised basically of shorties and their parents and so even though I'm a little older than seven I certainly enjoyed going with my mom to the movies the other day. So The Secret World of Arietti is about a family of very wee tiny people who live in the cre crevices and crawl spaces of your house and come out at night and borrow things that they find that are necessary. They don't overly indulge, they only take things that are practical. And I really enjoyed it very, very much. I grew up reading the Borrowers book and I read it over and over. And in fact, I used to have a little box of matches that I kept next to my heating vent that had a pin in it. Um, I had a little cotton for them, a toothpick, and a thumbtack and a thimble. And I used to be really disappointed when I checked the matchbook and it was still full. Because maybe those people hadn't moved in yet. That was what my thought was. Not that they didn't actually exist as fiction. So I really enjoyed the uh, animation in this. I think Studio Ghibli can do no wrong. Really, truly. Um, they've got, done some of the greatest films that I've ever seen as far as in the anime spectrum. And the painterly quality of their backgrounds of every single frame actually uh, was just absolutely fantastic. The lighting they captured, you could just feel the sunlight coming down from the dappled leaves and it just you could feel the warmth in the tone and when a rainstorm came in it just you could feel like the humidity rising in the theater. They really captured the spirit and essence of what it was like. And also mad props to the botany majors who obviously were on staff too because that marigold, I swear there was going to be a cloud of like pollen coming out of it. And they also had Himalayan poppies which are notoriously difficult to grow and they were just, you know, hanging out in the front yard. So um, I really also liked the fact that they wrote a story that could hold the attention of every single person in that audience. Even the smallest of the small hardly talked at all. And they also, but they didn't pull any punches which was really exciting because there's a child in this movie who is quite ill and in fact could be dying and they don't really have any and they lived happily ever after kind of moments you know they can leave that open and ambiguous and I think that's a really great thing to do because we're doing a disservice to our children to pretend that everybody lives happily ever after and the fact that you know they can appreciate and understand they're smart little kids you know they just don't have a lot of experience in this world and that's how you teach them these sort of things because everyone lives Everyone dies. Some of us get more time in between, but what we do with it in the middle is really what matters. So, it's a story of love, kindness, being practical, being brave, and also I just really love it so much. And I highly recommend it. Also to see it on the big screen if you can, uh, because some of the scale and scope really just brings so much to your experience. So, I hope uh, you enjoyed my first movie review. I hope to be making some more. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.